Merci beaucoup. Omar et Stevie Wonder. Don't you worry about the thing. Omar and Stevie Wonder, thanks a lot for this gift. Wonderful. Thank you. No, thank you very much. Thank you. So where did you meet Stevie, Omar? Oh, come on, Omar. Is Sorry. It, it's, it's a dream for you? Or? Yeah, big, no. uh, it's a big time, but, um, big dream for me because... It's a life for me. Um, for me, it's very small. It's been a long time. You know, but I've been wanting to sing with Stevie, so to be able to do this tune... What do you mean? You mean he's now. old? Oh, yeah, he's about 64, no. 65, I'm not, I'm not too Donc, sure. Il dit que tout petit, déjà, il avait envie de rencontrer et de chanter avec Stevie Wonder, qui n'a que 45 ans, s'il vous plaît, qui est toujours, euh, toujours jeune. Yeah. Uh, you understand, 45 ans? Uh, no, we say Omar is blind. <laughs> il dit qu'Omar est aveugle. <laughs> So one all, <laughs> yeah, one all. That's okay. okay. So how how did you meet and where did you meet, Omar? Um, well, basically we got together uh, through uh, Keith Harris. What were you gonna say? No, no, actually, I met Omar. We were at a we were in a uh, a racing car event, <laughs> and I was driving my car, and he was, and he was winning. He was winning. <laughs> Ils étaient donc dans une course automobile et Stevie était au volant et c'est lui qui gagnait la course automobile et c'est comme ça qu'ils se sont rencontrés. <laughs> bon, et donc, ça va pas être facile, mais je vais y arriver. Come on, please help me. We met, we, we, we I can't help you when he's talking like that. We met at the studio, at my studio in Wonderland. In Wonderland, and. Voilà. Um, ils sont rencontrés à Los Angeles, donc in Wonderland. Is that true that you've heard uh, music, uh, one title on the album of Omar, and you did ask uh, to meet him? Yeah, I, I liked his voice a lot, and I liked his uh, his style. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> il, aime, il aime la voix d'Omar et son style. <laughs> D'où l'imitation. Oh, 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 I can't do that impression. Oh, wow. That's too good for me. Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> You want that's the job you That's another dream comes yeah, to you. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. You might, might get a job in a couple of years. Il lui propose du boulot pendant deux ans. Keep it up. When I, when I grow up, I want to be just like Omar. Et quand il sera grand, Stevie voudra être comme Omar. Bon. Je vais pas y arriver, mais c'est pas bien grave. Um, so, tell me, you, is that true that at the end of the work with Stevie, you did ask Stevie, why do you work with computer, with pad, and with sound, electronic sound, and mm -hmm. not real one? Yeah. Is that true? You did yeah. ask that question. Yeah, I did, uh, because basically in England, we like to work a lot with, you know, the original sounds, with the drums, and a lot of analog sounds, acoustic sounds. And basically, I understand that Stevie's gone on from that. He's done, you know, about 20 albums odd using that kind of equipment. So he's just moved on from that, this experiment. And, uh, And that's basically why he uses all this, this new equipment, you know? He's, he's like the, the godfather of all the, the modern style of songwriting today. Alors, Omar lui a demandé euh, pourquoi utilise-t-il des, des instruments comme vous, comme vous le voyez à l'image, c'est-à-dire qui sont quand même des batteries, mais qui génèrent des sons qui sont enregistrés et qui peuvent être réglés. C'est-à-dire la casquette, par exemple, peut avoir différents sons et chaque fois, à chaque morceau, il règle les sons qu'il veut. Ce sont donc de vrais musiciens, mais avec des sons différents euh, à chaque fois. Et euh, Omar, lui, aime bien les sons purs et, euh, et naturels et il comprend que Steve a été le précurseur un peu de toute cette manière de, de travailler et il lui a donc posé cette question à la fin du, du studio. So he did ask the question, what was your, your answer? Well, I said, uh, shut up and stay out of my business. <laughs> et il lui a dit, ta gueule, laisse-moi faire ce que je veux avec ma musique. C'était la réponse de Stevie Wonder. <laughs> no, uh, what, I, what I said, no, I'm sorry, I didn't say that, no. No, we'll never I work in this town again. <laughs> no, I said, <laughs> no, I'm going to book you. I'm going to be a booking agent. See? No, actually, I, I, um, I explained to him that um, two things. Um, I use a lot of the technology, particularly with the computers of the day. It's like having um, my own notebook, and I'm able to write things and, and actually play the things 
and then put them into the computer. But uh, as of late, we have begun to use um, uh, musicians and various things. As a matter of fact, we just did the um, tour uh, where a lot of the arrangements that I had done and used the, the synthesizer um, were orchestrated there f for the uh, symphony orchestra by two, uh, two, comp two uh, arrangers, uh -huh. orchestrators Paul Reiser and um, Dr. Henry Panyon. So, you know, I just think that Variety is the spice of life, and um, it is not to be dependent upon the technology, but it is to use it when you want to. And then ultimately, uh, there's nothing that sounds as good as Omar said as the uh, real instrument. So you know we kind of so use. So does it mean that once, I mean, the next time you're going to use a real drums and real percussions and that kind of all perhaps African I instruments? A, I use a real drum a little bit. This <laughs> I you played, played some, some of the stuff. You played some drums on this album. Yeah, right? I did. Yeah. So, yeah, I sang. That was on real. Pad, on pad or on real drums? I sang. My voice was real. D'accord. Voilà. Sa voix est vraie. Ce qu'il dit, c'est qu'il faut pas être victime de la technologie, mais qu'il faut s'en servir pour, pour justement avoir euh, toutes les possibilités euh, au monde et que, que lorsqu'il travaille lui seul dans son studio, il peut comme ça avoir toutes les toutes les partitions du monde, tous les sons du monde possibles et imaginables et les donner et donner ces arrangements qui vont guider les, les groupes ou les musiciens qui vont l'accompagner dans dans les différentes tournées. Uh, how, do, how do you feel? How do you react about a new generation of soul? Do you feel that there is a new generation of soul or do you think it's normal that there is brand new singers, people like Omar and others younger than Omar because he's quite old right now? <laughs> he's just a baby, just a baby. Il est toujours un enfant. Bon, alors comment réagit-il? So um, do you think there is a new generation? I think that um, music is something that is always uh, growing to other places, as I said earlier. And, um, you know, All of the various influences, no different than when I was a little younger. The influences that uh, that I grew up with, uh, that now the generation of Omar and different artists of new, um, a new artist that have come up, they basically are influenced as well. And what by happens you. is they are influenced by you, right? Yeah, now. yeah, and yeah. Yeah, oui, oui, il est devenu maintenant l'influence. No, the character uh, is changing now. You are the idol. Well. That makes me feel happy. But, I, you know, the funny thing about it is, as much as people do say, well, that I influence them, I mean, the music of today influences me too. Uh, because it's always an influence. As long as you are, to me, as long as you are alive, um, hopefully you will be influenced by all the many great talents mm -hmm. that come about. Uh, to me, for instance, um, I don't know if there is a group as incredible with harmony um, so dynamic and so pure as is Take Six. And um, there are just many great talents out there today. And uh, as many times I've heard them say, Boys to Men have said that they've been influenced by Take Six. So because technology and communication has made the world a lot smaller, people are influenced um, more immediately by the music that they hear. Thanks, so, uh, thanks to the media and thanks to the satellite yeah. and stuff like that. So, yeah. I mean, um, there are, like, there's a song, Edge of Eternity, that was in uh, Omar's uh, style, influenced me. So, <laughs> it's different, different ideas, different times. We're influenced by each other. And I, uh, Wait. I just look forward to the time that we can um, write a song. We, was, we, were, we actually started talking about writing a song. We did a little bit of song together, yes. but I want to write... Omar's first number one song throughout right. the world. I want to write it together. <laughs> He had one. But we, we, we fight too much, so we have to slow down. That will be all right. Donc, uh, alors, je vais quand même traduire ce qui s'est dit depuis à peu près une demi-heure. Um, There won't be a fight. A, I have to, no, sorry, Steve, you have to translate the, the 30 minutes okay. of talk you've done. <laughs> <laughs> It's quite difficult for me, you know. I have a small brain. So, uh, donc, il a commencé en parlant des influences musicales et en disant que on était dans un, dans un monde de communication et d'échange et que plus la vie allait, plus on était influencé à droite et à gauche par tout ce qui pouvait se passer. Je lui disais que lui-même était devenu une influence pour des jeunes talents qui débarquaient et qu'il était heureux d'être oh, hein, qu lui-même une, une idole pour ces pour jeunes talents et qu'il avait euh, envie de continuer lui aussi d'être influencé, qu'il avait peut-être été influencé par des gens comme Omar et que lui-même adorait un groupe comme Texas et que même Boys to Men avait été influencé par Texas et qu'il trouvait que Texas était un très très très, très bon groupe et qu'il avait commencé à travailler avec Omar mais que comme ils ne pouvaient pas s'entendre et qu'ils avaient commencé à discuter ensemble, ils n'avaient pas continué à finir cette chanson. Stevie Wonder
Et voici For Pleasure, pour le plaisir, l'excellent album de Mar. Thanks a lot for coming, Omar. Thank Merci you. Merci beaucoup. Please, Stevie, have a seat. Please, yeah, please, please, because we're going to welcome, on va accueillir TTDA, Terence Trent Darby, sur ce plateau, live, holding on to you. 